North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper has withdrawn from consideration to be Kamala Harris's running mate. But several other contenders still remain in the race to be selected for that coveted running mate position. Our reporters are across the country covering the latest developments in the VP Beep Stakes. My name is Aaron Navarro and I am here at the Six Man Center where Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania just stopped by the Philadelphia Youth Basketball Camp to talk to young hoopers as well as reporters afterward. He was asked repeatedly if he would take the position as vice president to Kamala Harris. Now, Shapiro is part of a group of several Democratic governors potentially in the running for Harris's running mate. And sources tell CBS News that that timeline for her to pick her running mate is compressed with August 7th being a deadline in Ohio for ballot access that they need to hit. Now Shapiro repeatedly said that it is a quote deeply personal decision for Kamala Harris to make, not really showing where he lies on uh, all the deep stakes and the potential of him going to the White House. But he also went on the attack of former President Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance. Shapiro said that Vance is not off, quote, to a great start. And I asked Shapiro about the initial attacks from Trump calling Kamala Harris, quote, evil or having a low IQ, as well as the new ad from Trump's campaign tying her to the southern border. Shapiro said it's all a sign that Donald Trump is scared about the change at the ticket, scared about running uh, against Kamala Harris, and in Shapiro's words, scared of his own record. I'm Shauna Mizell in Louisville, Kentucky, where I've been following the state's governor, Andy Bashir. Now, Bashir has been floated as one of the potential vice presidential running mates for Kamala Harris. And his appeal stems from the fact that he's a two-term Democratic governor who's been able to get elected in the state of Kentucky, which has a Republican-led legislator. He's been a very vocal supporter for Harris since Biden endorsed her. And in fact, he urged the Kentucky delegates to rally behind Harris and pledge their support. And that was instrumental in helping Harris become the presumptive Democratic nominee, although the delegates have not yet voted. Now, Bashir didn't have any campaign or political events in Kentucky today, but over the weekend, we followed him to Georgia, where he attended the opening of a Democratic County campaign office. And there he responded to some of the attacks that we've heard from Donald Trump and J.D. Vance lobbed at Harris. And Bashir really presents that contrast when it comes to J.D. Vance, who has roots in Kentucky in the Appalachia area. And that's another area where he could appeal to voters. Thank you all for your reporting.